A cool drink, refreshing whether it's in Edmonton or in Calgary, but the difference is what's in the water. Calgary's supply is fluoride free and new research suggests that it's led to an increase in tooth decay. Everything consistently pointed towards fluoridation cessation as being um, an important factor. In 2011, Calgary City Council voted to take fluoride out of the drinking water. Edmonton left it in. Researchers then compared rates of tooth decay in both cities, both before and after the fluoride decision. They did that by examining a group of more than 5,000 grade 2 students. They found an increase in decay in both communities. The situation was worse in Calgary. I'm in favour of fluoride. The fluoride issue has been debated for decades. Zero in the city. Opponents argue it causes unnecessary health risks. It's in the water in such a small amount. Dr. Catherine Sandyland says the issue shouldn't be contentious because she says the extra fluoride really has no impact on adults and is highly beneficial for children. In young kids who have developing teeth, they actually drink the water, it's incorporated into their system, it goes in and it's actually laid down as part of the enamel. A national survey showed that about 45% of Canadians receive fluoride in their tap water, but in recent years that number has decreased. Since 2005, 30 Canadian communities have decided to go fluoride free. Some on Calgary City Council say the city shouldn't reconsider, even in light of the new research. We're talking about taking something orally, that there's no way of controlling the dose. Like, does, should you drink one glass of water a day or 10 glasses of water a day? Dr. Randall Crutzi is with the Canadian Dental Association and believes cities shouldn't be responsible for making the call on fluoride. Municipalities are making decisions that are not based in science. They are making uh, decisions that contain costs in the short run and that are very short-sighted. He says because it's a public health issue, provinces should ultimately decide just what's going into the water. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Edmonton.